I'm Dr. David Fairley of the Gulf Coast Pain Institute. I've been practicing in Pensacola for over 20 years, helping patients with chronic and acute pain. At the Gulf Coast Pain Institute, we've established a multidisciplinary approach where we have physicians, physiatrists, chiropractors, physical therapists, and a team of support staff to help you with your pain issues. We want you to feel better and function better so that your quality of life is improved. Our goal at the Gulf Coast Pain Institute is no pain, one place. We've all heard about herniated disc, ruptured disc, torn disc, but one of the other major causes of back pain is joint pain of the spine. And that can be arthritis of the spine, where it's really bone on bone, or it could be the joint working out of its normal range of motion after an injury. Just like if someone had a rotator cuff injury, you can have injury to the supporting structures of the joints, the ligaments and the tendons, and it can also cause a lot of pain. Anyone can get it. It could be from someone who is advancing in age and is developing osteoarthritis or bone on bone. That grinding of the bone can cause very significant pain. It could be someone who has had a hard job with repetitive injuries, repetitive bending and lifting. That can also cause arthritis of the spine. And you can also have pain from the joints after a trauma or injury, a slip or fall or a motor vehicle accident where the ligaments are torn and the supporting tendons are stretched. And that joint is really functioning where it's popping and clicking. What we always assess when we're looking at back pain, is there a component or major component that's coming from the joints, either bone on bone or where those joints are working out of their normal range of motion and causing pain. The symptoms of pain from the joints are typically pain in the lower back, buttock, hip, and into the leg. Occasionally, the joints can even cause sciatica below the knee and into the foot. This can be on both sides or it could be on one side. Sometimes in the neck, especially after a trauma, the joints can cause pain in the shoulder, very severe pain around the shoulder blade, and even severe debilitating headaches. When diagnosing joint pain from the spine, we always do a thorough history. We wanna know, did it start suddenly or was it gradually? We wanna know what makes the pain worse? What makes it better? Where is the pain? Does it radiate? It is very important also to do a, a thorough physical examination. We want to specifically look at maneuvers that would put stress or load the joints. We palpate over the joints and we can identify if by loading the joints, palpating over those joints, if it is exacerbating the pain, is it re reproducing what the patients are saying is their main pain complaint. Is it causing pain to radiate into areas that typically would cause pain in that patient? We also want to look at laboratory results for markers that might be indicative of arthritis. And we want to look at radiologic studies like MRIs or CAT scans or x-rays that might show arthritis in the joint or even laxity of the joints, meaning the joints are loose and working out of their normal range of motion. We also do diagnostic and therapeutic intervention. These are procedures that help us confirm that in fact, the joints are causing some component of the pain. Oftentimes after the procedures, the patients will come back and feel great. Sometimes, however, after the numbing medicines worn off, after the anti-inflammatories worn off, that bone on bone pain may be there and the pain can return. That's very important because it tells us that in fact, the joints are causing a lot of pain, but that simple conservative treatment injections may not be enough. There are other treatment options. Treatments for joint pain. 
anywhere, whether it be in your hip or your knee or arthritis in your back. We always want to treat conservatively. Simple anti-inflammatory medications, modalities such as ice and heat, physical therapy, chiropractic manipulative care, and a home exercise program are all very important. Patients that continue to have pain despite these conservative measures might undergo interventional techniques, therapeutic interventional techniques where anti-inflammatory medicines are injected into a swollen joint. But sometimes when the numbing medicine wears off and the anti-inflammatory wears off, that bone on bone is still there and the pain can return. You can't get a new back like you can get a new knee or hip. Surgery for arthritis in the spine only makes it worse. So what we can do is we can turn that pain off. We take a little needle that gets real warm at the tip and we put on the nerve that goes to that joint. We warm that nerve up and by warming up that nerve, we turn it off and we turn it off for months or years of relief. You have that bone on bone, but because the nerve doesn't work, you don't feel it. And again, that can last a long, long time. Joint pain can be uncomfortable. Joint pain from the spine can be debilitating. It can steal your quality of life. It can affect who you really are, how you are with your family, how you treat your friends and neighbors. If you have questions about joint pain, don't hesitate to call us at the Gulf Coast Pain Institute. We may not be able to take away all of your pain, but if we can help with 50 or 60 or 75% of your pain, we can help restore your function and bring your quality of life back. At the Gulf Coast Pain Institute, our motto is no pain, one place. Visit our website or call us today.